hold up, that's not what moths are like. Let me tell you what moths really are like. And while we're on the subject, I'll tell you a bit about butterflies as well. There are a few differences between moths and butterflies. Let me tell you a few of them. One difference is that most moths are nocturnal and most butterflies are diurnal, which means active during the day. Another small difference is that when butterflies are at rest, they fold their wings back. But when moths are at rest, they flatten their wings against their bodies or spread them out in a jet plane position. Moths make cocoons that are wrapped in silk coverings. Butterflies, on the other hand, form chrysalis, which are hard, smooth, and silkless. Both butterflies and moths have straw-like mouth parts that they use to insert into the deep tubes of a flower in order to sip nectar. But just eating nectar isn't enough. They still need minerals and salt. To do that, they get it from other food sources, including urine, dung, and standing water. Some moths and butterflies don't have very long mouth parts and instead use the shorter ones to get deep into fruits.